up, wake up, sleep your head, roll out of bed, make sure you're fed, cause it's time for Camp Up Street! Yeah! Doesn't matter if you're red, pink, or blue, no imposters here, just come as you, cause we're all friends. Yeah! At Camp Up Street! Last summer it sure didn't go as planned So we'll double the fun and warm up the band Cause it's time for Camp Up Street Yeah Come on Here we go Let me tell you It's cabin calls and up street halls Water fights and bugle calls Golden squirrels and sports contests Toilet towers, yeah who's the best? It's small group leaders and hot dog eaters And golden acorns and best friend eaters Learn and grow more than you know Learn how to follow and his love will show It's gonna be fun Yeah it is Don't miss a time Welcome campers, rise and shine, it's Camp Up Street time! My name is Kennedy and I am one of your camp directors this summer and we are hanging out all summer here at camp, Camp Up Street. It's really the place to be each week. Every week here at Camp Up Street, you're going to have a challenge to complete and this past week, your challenge was to decorate your room as if it were your own cabin at camp. Did you complete the challenge? I know so many of you did because we got so many pictures of how cool your cabins were. It was awesome. In just a little bit, you're going to receive your next challenge. So get this, my friend Caleb is spending his summer at camp. He has been doing some fun videos for us and all of the fun things he's doing. Well, he's put together a list of some of the best things to do while you're at camp. And then, well, some things you definitely should not do at camp. Let's check it out. Heads up campers, hope you got your floaties on because we're taking this thing to the water. I'm Caleb and this is that show with that guy. <laughs> what an entrance, right? <laughs> well, I'm here to help guide you through camp life, to, to navigate through all the things that you should do. And one of those things are water activities. I mean, come on, right? And the best one to do, the blob. Now, the blob is something you should absolutely do at camp. It's honestly should be a required thing to have fun. And if you've never been blobbed or blobbed, let me show you why. Here we go. See, <laughs> getting blobbed is insane. It's something you should definitely do, but uh, something you definitely shouldn't do is do a belly flop off the blob. Oh, this is just, ooh, just the beginning of some of the things you should and shouldn't do at camp. I'm out here getting hurt. Ow. <laughs> so you don't have to. I'm gonna go see the camp nurse, but I'll see you guys next week. Stay saucy, love on somebody. I gotta go. Peace. Wow, it looks like Caleb is having a great time at camp. Minus the belly flops, ouch. You know, another thing you should definitely do at camp sing we have a new summer song so check it out
Jesus said, Come, follow me. Matthew 4.19street we're rocking and rolling and moving and grooving this summer as we're figuring out what it looks like to follow jesus you know like really follow him go where he would go say what he might say and do what he would do and we can know all those things about jesus because we can read what his friends wrote about him when they followed him and reading what they wrote is how we can follow too now Anyone out there love to tell a good story? When you follow Jesus, you learn that he liked to tell stories too. But Jesus didn't tell stories to entertain people. He told them stories to teach people about God and to show them what God is like. A lot of Jesus' stories involved sheep. Like, kind of weird, right? But also super duper cute. And Jesus told this one story about sheep that we really need to pay attention to. Check this out. Jesus wanted everyone to imagine a shepherd. Now, you know what a shepherd is, right? If you didn't, it's someone who takes care of sheep. That's their job, and it's the coolest job ever. And Jesus said, imagine the shepherd has 100 sheep. Way more than I can hold, but gosh, wouldn't that feel like the best blanket ever? So the shepherd has 100 sheep. 97, 98, oh, 99, but Something happens. One. Huh. Where did that last sheep go? One went missing. Just one. So the shepherd now has 99 sheep. Now, 99 is a lot. 99 is way more than one. So surely no one is going to miss that one sheep, right? Sheep. Sheep. Uh, all right, let's go everyone. (laughs) But Jesus said the shepherd didn't do that. Jesus said the shepherd left the 99 and went searching for the one. Now, was the shepherd mad he had to go searching? Okay, this is getting old. Where are you? This is your fault, you know? Why can't you just stay with everyone? Ah, was he annoyed? All right. It's been about 10 hours now, you're still not here. Where are you? The shepherd loved all his sheep. Every single one of them was important to him. So because he loved them so much, he searched for the one who was lost. There you are. And he did whatever it took to find him. He left all the ones who are okay to find the one who wasn't. And you know what, it probably showed the other 99 that if anything happened to them too, he'd go searching for them in the same way. Now, a lot of these stories that Jesus told tell us something about God. So Jesus isn't really talking about sheep. A lot of times when Jesus talked about sheep, are you ready for this? No, like lean in. Are you guys really ready for this? When he talked about sheep, he was really talking about people, us. You, me, our friends, people we pass on the street that we don't know, everyone in the world. So this story about shepherd and sheep is really about God and about how God loves everyone, even the one who gets lost. And when we follow Jesus, we see that he loved everyone too. So if we're following Jesus, then he wants us to love everyone. But we all have a one sheep kind of person in our lives, right? Sometimes it's the kids sitting alone at lunch, or maybe even the kid who isn't playing with anyone on the playground. Or sometimes the one sheep can be the person who is a little bit harder to love, like a teammate who is rude to others and always acts like they're the best player on the team. Those people are the last ones we want to love. We want to stay safe with our 99 friends and not worry about that one. The kid who is kind of like the one sheep in Jesus' story but you gotta love that one because God loves that one. God loves everyone and Jesus loves everyone. So when we follow Jesus, he wants us to love everyone too. So invite the one kid on the playground to play. Talk to the one kid at lunch. 
and you be kind to the teammate who isn't always kind to you. That is how you follow Jesus and love everyone. Let's pray. God, wow, your love for us is so, so big. Thank you for using this story to teach us how to love everyone and help us to love everyone like Jesus did. Amen. When we follow Jesus, we need to love everybody just like he did. So this week, I'm going to love everybody around me just like Jesus. Now that's easy to say, not always as easy to do, but I want to encourage you to do this this week. Well, it's another week, friends, which means another challenge for you. Let's listen and find out what it is. Hello, campers. Welcome to week two of Camp Upstreet. This week, your challenge is to make your own cabin cheer. Create a short song about why your cabin is, well, the best. Check out this cheer one of our Upstreet friends wrote. Hey everybody, it's Denise and Catherine here, and this week's challenge is to make your very own cabin cheer. So Catherine and I made one for Cedar Cove. Check it out. Five, six, seven, eight. We're, We're the best, you can't deny. They've heard about us all the way in Dubai. Cedar Cove is here to stay. I, I bet, bet you know we slay all day. Hey, Cedar Cove! Cedar Cove, can't wait to see yours. Make sure you send it in. You can clap your hands or stomp your feet. It's totally up to you. Make sure that once you complete the challenge, your parents help you fill out the challenge form on the Oasis website, and we will send you some tuck in the mail. That's camp lingo for special treat. We would love to see your cabin cheer too, so send a video to pattycanvas at oasischurch.ca. We can't wait to see what you all come up with. Before we go, we want to wish some very special campers a happy birthday. So happy birthday to Emma, Jedi, Matthias, Tanner, Annalise, Jaden, Nixon, Haley, Russ, Caleb, and Olivia. We hope you have an awesome day. That's all for us, friends.